a heavy box. I just matched him. My name's Ben and I'm on a quest to find a shed antler in every state in the US. I don't even know if this is possible and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. Like most of you, when I thought about Iowa, I didn't really think about anything. Aren't there a bunch of cornfields there in a city called Des Moines? I also remember that my buddy RJ did his state report on Iowa in fifth grade and brought popcorn for the entire class. As I left Nebraska, I wasn't sure what to expect in Iowa, but what I found there was a lot better than popcorn. Super stoked to get Nebraska knocked out yesterday and now on the way to meet up with my buddy Ben in Iowa. I don't know Ben very well, I just know him through social media and uh, some of the videos that he sent me over on social got me pretty hyped up. Uh, the thing that I most like about this guy and the reason I wanted to ultimately meet up with him out here is because he sends these videos of him shed hunting with his kid and uh, it's awesome. It's just, I love to see that stuff. That's something that I want to do more with my boys. So hopefully we can knock this state out. We got basically two half days, two half a day Tuesday, half a day Wednesday, and then I'll be on the road headed south again for Missouri. I made it to Ben's house and before we headed out to hike for sheds, we took a look through his keeper pile. You picked those up. Mm -hmm. I think your dad sent me the video of that set. That thing's awesome. Is that your first set? Um, no. That one up there is. Oh, those are sweet too. That thing's sweet. Look at those cheaters on the back. What do you think? I think it's pretty sweet. He's going to find a, something like that? I doubt it. <laughs> it might be more like, this is probably what we'll find now. That's okay. It's like this. That's, man. That's this year's pile. That's there. this year's alone, huh? Man. Yeah. Man, that's oh, a pretty man. good stack. Just need one. Just one. You mean one like this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the one I was telling you Double about. Double main beam. Yeah. Look Apparently at that. And look at that. Bloody base, man. That's a thing of beauty right there. Mm -hmm. First hike in Iowa. We're working our way across through this stuff down kind of to the edge of the grass then we're going to go over along the edge of that lake and into those woods over there and loop up through so these guys have hiked this earlier in the year in some deep snow and we're just hitting it again looking for late droppers and anything that might have got missed we got some other spots to check too but fighting through this grassy stuff Oh, it warms my heart see these boys out here arguing over who's stealing each other's line. You stole my trail. Gives me hope for the future of kids in this world. Check this out. Notice something dead over here. Nice dead buck right here. Pretty cool buck. That pretty ivory color to him. It looks like road killed deer, but. Man, they're pretty. It doesn't smell very pretty, but it looks pretty. Oh, look at the school over there. Love the color that he's got to him right there. We could call it a match set. Uh, so deadhead law in Iowa is... You must call the DNR. Call them and they'll yeah. investigate. They'll come and they'll take a look. It's and a if dead boy No big deal, then they'll give you a yellow tag to put on the antler. Even on roadkill? What? Yeah. The roadkill, you gotta take the whole carcass. Oh. Yeah, so you could, I mean, those ribs have been picked pretty clean if you want to eat those. Yeah, mm, that sounds great. <laughs> pretty cool buck. You guys ever seen this before? That's rabbit piss, apparently. Blue rabbit piss. And if you taste it, just like raspberry. Yeah, I bet raspberry. it is. I bet it is. I'm going to give it a, a shot. give it a taste test. Score it on the old monster scale. Oh, there you go. 
rabbit piss. I bet it tastes better than some energy drinks I've had. <laughs> we ended up hiking a few miles with no sheds to show for it. Just one cool deadhead. The next morning, we were right back at it. Morning folks, day two here in Iowa. This camera's about to die, just like my last one died all day yesterday. Headed out for another shed rip with my boy Ben. Uh, Tines down, Iowa, those guys are cool. He's got a real awesome thing going on, cool family. And uh, they're, they're fun to hike with, fun to hang out with. So me and him got a morning today to go hit it. We're gonna see if we can find something before that snow gets here. We're racing the storm, baby, let's go. Yep, those are all turkeys. So. Wow. Turkeys for days. See so we're in spot number three of the day. Uh, got these woods and then it goes all back there. It's a little permission piece that Ben worked out for us. So we'll see if we can knock this baby out. I got faith. I got a, I got a good feeling about this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we don't find anything, we will definitely sweat to death. Well, it's way back there. let's go get it. Little dead shed buck here. That's a look at his pedicle. They're pretty good size. All right, just pulled in, parked in this spot. Pulling up the Onyx here. Looks like it's on a bit of a waterfowl refuge. Um, so we can hike it for deer sheds. Foggy, snowy, but uh, this is gonna be a pretty much a last ditch effort. Go put down some miles, let's do this thing. Let's get her done, Iowa, let's get her done. There it is. Stuck in the snow, Iowa. Right next to a deer leg. Yeah, I saw the bones first and then looked down and looks like maybe even a little older antler. I don't know. Boy, I've never been so happy for a little <laughs> shed either, Ben. Isn't that funny? That's probably an early dropper has been under the snow. Yeah. And it melted off. Man, that's a good feeling to see yes. those tines sticking up. Come over here, boys. It's probably a booner. <laughs> oh, Come this way, Kanan. He did find one. Oh, there's a dead deer, too. Yep. Hey, that gives me hope there's more out <laughs> here, Ben. Yep. Hey, go give him a five, Brantley. Freaking hey, stoked, hey. dude. Don't leave me hey, hanging. Give me some knocks. Bam. Dad, I tried to get a picture with you, Ben. Yeah? We'll get one with our shed now. Oops. Got to get the old ATLs. Sweet man, I've never been so happy to see a little thorn in my life. <laughs> All right, pick that monster up. <laughs> Iowa, baby. I mean, that's what you expect when you come to Iowa. Bucks of that caliber, right? That's why everybody wants to hunt this state. Iowa. Booner. Giant. What we love about that shed right there is a check mark on the map for the state of Iowa. United Sheds of America tour going strong, baby. Two for two. So now. We're gonna keep picking through this stuff, see if there's some more out here to find, and I'm just happy we're going home successful. So, count it, let's go get some more. What we got, what we got. Yeah, just wait, I thought it was a stick, looks like it's been down, it's chewed on. See that one? Ooh. Mega. <laughs> Mega. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. That counts, dude. Boom. Nice work. You got it, Brantley, you wanna pick that up? Yeah. All right, go for it, let's see it. Oh yeah. Oh giant. It was probably huge. They ate like they probably ate 60, 70 inches off of that Jeez. thing. Yeah, they did. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Look at that. Little chewing Boy, suckers. Boy, he's been down for a while under that snow and then just bowed them. What side is that? That's a right? Right. right. Yours is a right as well. Oh, I can't Twin that. brothers. Apparently, hold up next to Ben. Let's see those monsters. Right here. <laughs> Tell them where they can find your socials at. Yeah, you can check us out. We're Tines Down on Facebook, uh, Tines Down on YouTube, and then Tines Down underscore IA on Instagram. We usually post mostly on Instagram, and then uh, YouTube's usually where you'll find uh, the good stuff, you know what I mean? Which you'll find this video and Shed Crazy on there finding an antler. So Sweet. You wanna watch it. What's your favorite thing about shed hunting? Um, finding the biggest ones. And what's your favorite way to celebrate a successful shed hunt? Mm, dancing. 
The gritty, let's see the gritty. Oh yeah, you got the moves. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What's your favorite thing about shed hunting with your dad? Uh, probably, uh, probably finding them before him. Finding them before him, I love it. And how do you celebrate a successful shed hunt? I uh, yell, I yell, thank you, thank you, thank you. Got it. Right on, dude. Thanks for letting me hike with you today. Yeah. Because what are we? To find an antler like this, you have to be a what? Say? Shed sniper. Oh, yeah. Shed, shed, shed yeah. sniper. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's 1.30 in the morning. I'm filming this in my kitchen because my wife's asleep in our bedroom where I like to uh, edit and use the background for filming videos. But I did want to make sure that uh, I got this in. I want to thank everybody who's purchased apparel. We had a huge apparel launch, tons of new designs for this United Sheds of America tour, and you guys really stepped up, sold a bunch of apparel. And one thing that I always used to love doing in my videos was thanking everybody by name who purchased apparel, and I'm gonna get back to that. I'm gonna make this a big part of this tour, so um, hang on to your hats, because we got quite a few to thank this week. First one is Michael LeBlanc, thank you very much. Uh, Justin Hansen. Tucker Robertson, Trent Vespa, uh, Roseanne Bent, Robert Feely, Tyler Langworthy, Mark Ingdahl, Christian Batty, Bryn Erickson, a lot of familiar names, people that have ordered in the past. Thank you guys very much. Jason uh, Houston, Jonathan Morell, Braden Larson, Tom Peterson, Kent Bender, Tracy Corwin, no, I've seen that name before, Donald Shepard, Hunter Young, Mina Tonk, so Tank, I guess. Thank you guys. Stanley Viasi, uh, Corey Elliott, Dylan Watkins, Cameron Lamb, uh, and I think that gets everybody that we had come through uh, on the initial launch. So thank you so much you guys for buying uh, merchandise. We got hats, shirts, hoodies, everything on the website, getshakecrazy.com. And I'm going to continue to thank everybody by name in every YouTube video until we sell so much merch that I can't fit it anymore. But I appreciate you guys supporting the videos, appreciate you supporting the launch, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.